What's going on, everyone? My name is Sock. Welcome back to the Gloss Garage, where we make detailing simple. And today I have something special for you guys. I don't know what year this vehicle is, but I do have a Scion FRS in for our boss package, complete package detail, which starts at $500. But I will show you guys, this is a big job. He wants, you know, headlight to be polished as well. So all these other things, that's why the, that's the starting price. But yes, anyways, we have a big one, a little bit of trim restoration. Uh, we're gonna polish out the exhaust and we're gonna do a polish on the whole vehicle. So I'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can see the vehicle. I already prepped out everything. I took out everything from the interior. And on top of that, it does have a lot of pet hair. So it's gonna be a big transformation. And yeah, so let's take a walk on the vehicle. Okay guys, so I apologize for the noise in the background. They, my neighbors are working on some stuff. But yes, this is the FRS right now. It's actually in really rough shape. It's getting our boss package, like I said before, which we pretty much reset the vehicle. And this is it. It's in rough condition. It came from Texas. The owner drove it up here from Texas. He's originally from Texas. And there is some already like permanent etchings and bird poop etchings that I can see from here. The headlight, like I said, we're gonna polish that. Need some headlight uh, polishing, that's what he wants. I told him no restoration on that. And same thing on the wheels. And I'm gonna take a look on the interior. Has a lot of pet hair, like I said earlier. And look, and we're gonna extract all this, steam clean all this. I already prepped out everything. I put everything inside the bag on the side for them. And yes, the interior has pet hair even on the dashboard so we're gonna restore this whole vehicle inside and out pretty much and yes like i said you even have dog scratches here and the, and the paint is super faded it has like some wash stains here that i don't know what was done but yes it's it's, a, it's in really rough shape so let's try to give this a bit of a makeover and make it look pristine and yes so I'll see you guys in a bit. We'll be doing the wash process, also the engine bay process, pretty much what we did to the 2012 Toyota Camry. So I'll see you guys. So before we get started on the wheels, I also did open up the trunk. Like I said, in our bus detailing package, we do do a wipe down of the engine. We don't introduce any water, just more of a superficial wipe down and dress the engine right all the plastic compartments and just give it a reset but just look at how it looks at the moment and then in the video while i'll do my montage and stuff like that of cleaning around i'll go through the process while I'll speed it up so you guys don't see me detailing the car for about four hours but here it is and yes so i'll see you guys in a bit All right guys, so I just wanted to touch up just real quick on what I use. So I use Adams Wheel Echo Wheel Cleaner. It's safe on all rim types, aftermarket rims, all this other stuff. But I did use Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner. Even though it says Brake Buster on that IK Foamer, it is Adams Wheel and Tire Cleaner. And yes, yeah, so I just clean the wheels, no iron remover, no nothing like that because I'm not trying to damage anything on those rims. But they came out super clean. And yeah, so I hope you guys just continue watching. So as you can see, I just covered the battery. This is a super dirty engine like I showed you guys. And I did use the wheel and body uh, brush or wheel well brush. 
all over on top of the hood and all that other stuff and power clean that's the degreaser i love to use so i will be doing a review on why i use that degreaser and i just use it all over the engine bay and everything just to wipe down the superficial um parts of the engine i do not put any water any hose inside the engine just to be clear i'm just wiping off the top surfaces of the engine All right guys, so this is the whole complete engine. As you can see, this is a night and day difference. All we really do with the boss package is just wipe down the top plastic surfaces and then just dress them. We do, we use the PNS all dressing and then that's about it. We, we rub it in there, same thing under here. I just gotta apply a bit more and then that's about it. I just wanna finish up with the engine so we could just move on to the actual washing process and we'll be all set but this all dries to a matte finish and yes so let's get on with it so i back the car in what we're gonna do is the iron decontamination step and the tar step so what i'm going to do in the tar remover so what i'm going to do is gonna pre-treat all this to get all the embedded iron contaminants this car is super contaminated there's literally no water beating water sheeting no protection whatsoever and i'll be using an aggressive clay bar so watch this i'm gonna spray this panel let it sit for a bit and the reason why I backed this vehicle up was so that I can let the maximum dwell time for this iron remover because this car is super contaminated and although I could do this in the sun but I want maximum dwell time and now say I just did this half walk back around and look at all that purple in all that purple already just not even within seconds right so i want this to dwell maximum dwell time that way it can help pull all that embedded contaminants out of the paint soften them up before the clay process so you can see there's already chipped paint here burnt paint here a couple areas on the roof so once I do this, we'll do the clay and then we'll move on to the polishing stuff. And then from here on in, it's it's smooth sailing from here after the clay process. But I will show you guys the clay bar on how it looks. So what I'm doing here right now, I'm just pre I'm rinsing off all that iron and tar that I used. I didn't take a video of me using the tar, but it is what it is. I'm pressed on time and I am doing this vehicle by myself. Usually my wife helps, helps me with this, but I rinse it off. I use 
the McKees 37 rinse and wash as my clay lube and look at all that overspray and contamination that's coming off i'm using the koch chemi aggressive clay bar it's my favorite clay bar it's very chemical resistant and it helps pull off all that clay and it's just all over the paint like i'm coming back and forth showing you guys on the screen on both sides of the vehicle on how much contamination was on this paint right i think this is the first time this vehicle ever got a deep detail the way it did but yeah so just keep on watching and then i'll show you guys after the whole claim process finish clean the whole vehicle it's smooth as glass removed a lot of that oxidation squeaky clean as you can hear but yes uh now we're about to go to the polishing step I am measuring the paint, but some areas have been repainted. Some areas are heavily damaged. Like here, you see that spot right there. We have some burnt paint on top. This was definitely repainted. As you can see, that heavy orange peel that's, that's on, the, um, on the hood. And look, pretty much nothing to work with, with the paint, right? So. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick test spot with Lupez DA Fine. Pretty much what I did here before I did my test spot, I like to take care of the wheels and all that other stuff. So I use GP Boost as the sealant for the rims and car pro pearl this time is diluted one to one because i have been using it and then i just refill it little by little with deionized water but i just like to do this all the time on my wheels and rims before i start polishing because it will definitely be zero slang when once the customer picks it up but just this is my favorite combination and it's just beautiful all right guys i'm back so here we have still the polishing step i did a test spot and we used the rupes da fine with a orange waffle pad i used a couple i had my phone charging for a bit look how much oxidation was coming out of the paint right like this is the oxidation this is actually really really soft paint and it did a very good job in one step. It is gray. And after this, we'll, we will be putting on a sealant, but I'm gonna flip you guys around so you guys can see the 50-50 difference of this paint enhancement. Like I said, this does not have a lot of paint to work with. So I will not be doing any extensive type of polishing on this type of paint, right? So here we go. So here we have, I already did the hood. I already started polishing. I did the roof, the hood, the side fender, as you can see how glossy it is and shiny. I did a little bit of this part of the hood, like probably like a quarter of it and the front bumper. So if I put myself here, you can see the light here, even though this is a repainted hood, but you can see compare the light from from this light right there to the other one is very hazy, very oxidized. And here is nice clear paint. And then on the roof, I'll show you guys what we achieved, right? So all this has been polished, even this side. And now if we follow the light over to the unpolished, look, huge night and day difference, right? Polished, not polished, right? So we are achieving at least a great result. It's a very soft paint. And that is the plan for the day. So like I said, look at that front, the front fender right there. And it's just absolutely just shining. 
and yeah and some of the hood so and I, and I did the front bumper but yeah so that's what we up to right now look at the wheels nice gleaming I love car car pro pearl my favorite favorite tire dressing or water-based silicone dressing is just the best just look at that finish that it leave that it left but I'll see you guys in a bit and I'll continue polishing I will be probably recording a little bit of it on and off because my phone my phone does get very 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 hot sorry that motorcycle passed by but yeah so i'll still be polishing on and off on this vehicle i'll be using my camera but i may i'm having another vehicle show up later so i do want to record that one like i said i do everything on my phone and i am time constrained at the moment i have to polish the whole outside i have to do the interior full and then after that i'm pretty much done i do have to polish the tips polish the headlights and do the trim restoration so that is what is entailed in this whole boss package he added on those other extra items like the headlights tail lights I did want to mention that I pro uh, didn't clear up inside the video, but I did do about four section passes. That's about it with the Rupes DA fine. And that was about it. I did not go, like I said, anything extensive. And then you see me using the blue waffle pad. I did use the orange waffle pad because the waffle pads are my favorite types of pad to use. I like how easily it glides on the paint and it's just, it just feels good on the polisher whatever polisher i use those flat pads tend to stall so i just let the fingers of the waffle pads do the work for me but uh i did run out of the orange ones but it's all right it happens right but there's no really big difference between the blue one and the orange one the blue one is just pretty much a all-in-one type of polishing pad while the other one is just more of a polishing pad in itself slash correcting pad but there is no big difference all i did was just one more extra pass with the blue pad and that was it i still got the same results you just have to understand your polish understand your equipment that way you know what finish to achieve with any type of pad All right, guys, so I don't bore you guys with the whole interior process. Like I said, this had so much pet hair. It literally held me back so much, probably like an extra hour. But thanks a lot to the customer for being so patient. He was very patient. He even showed up before the car was completely finished, even though I did tell him to arrive at that time. But man, it's just that Scion had like that invisible not invisible um impossible carpet right like those carpets are so awful but here you see me wiping down the door panels after i'm done vacuuming with the pns interior express uh 
cleaner and then from here i did the steaming process i steamed everything i didn't put the part where i pre-treated the back but i still use the extractor and yes i just don't want to bore you guys or anything so i steam cleaned everything i still did have extra pet hair afterwards but um you know he was very patient i took out about 90 percent of the pet hair pet hair maybe 80 percent it was just full of pet hair everywhere i steam cleaned everything every crack every crevice and here you can see i dumped this out this um recovery tank about three times two to three times so that was like the third time that i had it there and then that was it that was good enough but i extracted everything right everything in the back and then i used chemical guys heavy metal polish to polish the the exhaust tips right because they were super filthy and yeah and then the other thing that i didn't put but i did this while the customer was here was the headlight polishing where i polished the headlights and i also did the black plastic dressing so i did that while i was here and also the windows but here you guys go the after result look how stunning we revamped it look at the engine bay this is everything in its complete entirety you see the headlight is fully polished fully cleaned inside and out just a complete reset on this with the boss package and yes like i said the add-ons was the headlight restoration and yeah so the headlight polishing but we removed 80 percent of the dog hair he was very patient he was like listen i get it it was so much and yes but look at it just a complete reset that you get the seats in the back were extracted and we steam cleaned it they're a bit damp that's why you guys see it that way but it, it it'll dry out on its own and yeah so if you guys like this type of content hit the like button hit the subscribe button and other than that i'm out guys Peace.